Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm going to take you on a little trip today to my world. This is what I've done since I was nine years old. Um, I've raised, bred, shown anything, you know, quite a few things with horses. Um, I stopped showing for one particular reason, and that's some of the methods that they use um, for training the horses. And one horse in particular is the Tennessee Walker. And this is what I call the walk of shame. And it's how the uh, training of the training methods are done. And this particular method is called soaring. And soaring is practiced to get the gated horses to artificially enhance their step to win in shows and winning uh, rewards with ribbons, trophies, cash, and so forth. Um, <clears throat> The method that is used is they slice incisions on their pasterns. They place caustic fluids on the, the wounds and they wrap them with plastic wrap, make them stand their stalls for at least 24 hours. And they also put um, extended shoes on their feet and this causes very severe pain. They use that pain to get what the trainers are famous for, which is called the big lick. To me, it is a freak show, and it is created by severe cruelty. On the left-hand side, you will see that's the natural gate of the Tennessee Walker. On the right-hand side, this is what is created through pain, severe pain. That is why the horse is carrying his legs up high. <laughs> this is my daughter. You can see that, you know, we've shown, been to shows, grown up around horses. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this. This is just a natural gallop of the Tennessee Walker. You do not see any high lifting in his legs. This is at a Western pleasure show, another Tennessee Walker, natural gait. No high lifting. Now, as for this, this is at a show, and this is what they call the big lick. And this horse here, you can even look at his face, you can see the pain and the stress that this horse is in. You can see the shoes on the bottom, how high they are. This is during the period when they're getting him trained. Roller bars on, the chains, you can see the caustic uh, fluids on his feet, and you can see the, the stacked shoes. The hooves are trimmed to practically nothing and replaced with the metal shoes. This is an x ray of what the, the hooves look like with the shoes on, and that is nails, and the nails do touch the tender part of the hooves. This is just a, a better picture where you can see the, uh, the plates going through the shoes to stack his feet up. I want you to imagine for just a minute that put yourself in the horse's place. I want you to imagine that you're chained or what us horse owners call crossbars. <clears throat> and someone comes and they put slices in your ankles, the front part of your ankle, the back part of your ankle. And I want you to feel that pain. And then I want then the, the person or owner comes and they place caustic fluids such as kerosene, mustard oil, or diesel fuel. And that is what they use on your wings. And then they take a plastic wrap and wrap around your ankles. And they make you, say for example, stand in a closet for 20 more hours and you can get here. Then they take you out and they put high heels on you with some nails on the bottom of the high heels. Then they take you on a track and make you run. Can you imagine the pain that you would be in? 
This is the pain that these horses saw. Soaring was banned in the 70s. It's still illegal. Soaring is an infliction of pain to force the exaggerated pain. It is an unnatural gait in order to perform well. There was a bill passed back in the 70s. It's called the um, Pass Act. There was a new bill trying to go, and it, if the new bill passes, it will, uh, it will amend the Horse Protection Act um, by uh, making stiffer penalties, fines. The, the owners would, and trainers would get jail time. And it would also help the USDA improve the investigations. And I, all I need is your voice to help me help these horses that cannot speak for themselves. And all you have to do is contact the, the Humane Society of the United States and add your name to the list. And hopefully we can get this problem taken care of and these horses out of pain. I would appreciate your help. This is just a picture of way back when a Lone Ranger, that's a Tennessee walker. That's also a Tennessee walker with no shoes, nothing on, being happy. Thank you.